Welcome back to school, guys. Back to school reactions. Hey, check it out. I was sitting there minding my own business, doing my thing, right? Hanging out at the bar, actually, because, you know, where else am I going to go? It's a bar. So, I'm hanging out at the bar, and I'm going to talk about one here. I'm talking about the bar bar. It's in the, it's in the link below. And somebody says, hey, man, Upchurch just dropped a new remix. Right there on the spot. Boom. Okay, I got to jump on it. So, here we are. Got this little half left. Trying to smoke this so I don't pack a bowl. Got to bear with me. He's bored. Do I need to say any more? If you want to get into the bar where us reactors hang out and you want to come and give us suggestions and talk to us, like literally talk to us like a call, like you can hear our voices and stuff and we can hear you, get over to the bar. But you have to be 18 to get in. Look in the description below and there's a link that says Discord. That takes you to the bar. You have to verify you're 18. Come on in. There are reactors there all the time. We're always screwing around, having fun. You can join in with us. You can come and talk to us. Last night I was talking to to uh, uh, subscribers and stuff. It's a great time. Uh, you can also get busy in my comments by making your suggestions down below. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification button though, folks. What's the point of uh, watching my videos and asking for something if you don't know when I release it? So let's jump into this. This is Death by Trippy Red Remix and it says he's bored. Bored? Oh, I need some swag here. Bored? We know what that means. That means he's about to go the fuck off. Alright, here we go. Let's get some swag. Let's jump into it. Sparks flying like a mini truck with a busted bag. So nowadays they use airbags in trucks to raise and lower them. When I had my mini truck in the 80s, and my truck was a show truck, I owned the truck that it kind of is the Eclipse Audio mini truck because it was Fujitsu 10 uh, at the time, which is now Eclipse. And uh, we had hydraulics and everything, the beds, the, the suspension, the whole thing. And it ain't no joke. I ripped a hydraulic line one time. My fucking truck fell on the ground. I couldn't get it off the ground at all. Uh, can't drive it because it's dragging on the ground. So right there, he caught me with that line. I love that. Ooh, and he is, bro. He is on the country charts right now. And here's the crazy thing. I literally know signed artists who don't make it on the charts like he does. It tells you something right there, bro. I mean, the guy is legit. The screen screen. This guy is legit. Sorry, guys. This guy is legit, man. You guys gotta, like, I, I wish people would get off their butts and start paying attention to him. Because you got a lot of people, idiots, that like to diss him and say that he can't rap. But, pff, you guys are tards, man. He can obviously rap. It's ridiculous. Sorry, I'm stoned and drinking, so fuck. Frig it. I'm trying to get monetized. <laughs> Right. Oh my God, that irritates the shit out of me. I'm not, you know, whatever. There's a certain guy from Nebraska who has a, a, a tendency to just talk and talk and talk about Upchurch. You can't shut up about Upchurch. Has a hard on for Upchurch. I don't know what the deal is, man, but 
he, that guy was saying that Upchurch can't rap and his fans don't know rap because we're white. Brother, I was a DJ on the first motherfucking rap station in Los Angeles. How dare you say that? Let's go. I know, I know more about rap than your sorry fucking sister act looking asses. Hang on. He he talking shit here. He letting you know where you stand. Hang on. Trying to pretend I don't exist. Acting like I don't do it. Acting like my fans ain't good enough to listen right. to the music you do, stupid. I'm a hillbilly. Check Spotify. Go to sleep and fucking loop it. I'm a shit so much. I'm a hillbilly. Check Spotify. Go to sleep and loop it. I don't know why people want to say he's not a good rapper i mean it, it, it's ridiculous especially coming from people who do like the dumbest raps ever towards him it's like i i don't understand what the what the thing is there is this huge thing on youtube where everybody wants to talk crap about the man well you know what that means it means y'all jealous like i respect the guy because He's putting out the fucking effort to put out all this music. And I don't know signed artists that do this shit. They put out this much music, this fast, this constantly. Right? It's, it's, like, when I hear about all these people that say he can't rap and stuff, it just pisses me off. It's like, what is your prejudice that makes you think he can't rap? You know, anytime I hear the white people in rap story, it's like, really? Tell anybody in rap that the Beastie Boys shouldn't have been in fucking rap. Tell anybody in the rap industry. See what happens. Right? Just because he's a country boy doesn't mean he can't rap. Country boy got flow. Everybody are knows. Uh oh. Record label shot. He does not fit the image. He does not fit the image of rap music, apparently. He does not fit the image of country music, apparently. Although the charts are playing him right now. He's up there. But since when did where you come from determine whether or not you can have any talent. This man has so much talent, it's retarded. Like, I wish I had that much talent in, like, my whole body. He has, like, all the talent I have. I can make and repair guitars. I can make glasses. I can do this. I can do that. I can cut hair like a motherfucker. All that. Like, my level of talent is here compared to his whole body of work, bro. He's that talented. His haters want to come after him, right? You got fucking idiots living in fucking towns named after dogs trying to diss this man. 
And the only reason they're doing it is because they know how fucking popular he is. And they think somehow it'll benefit their life to talk shit about him. Um, I suppose clout chasing is good when you clout chase somebody who can't destroy you. But Upchurch can destroy you and has. And so, to me, the whole argument about that is is just absurd. Stop. It's just absurd. You can't say the man can't rap. You're showing your bias because he's white and from the country. Hey, bro, that's super sports badass too, man. If I bought a car again, if I buy another car, I will buy a Camaro. Uh, my wife wants one. Um, I'd buy the, she, she kind of likes the yellow one. I kind of prefer the blue one for, but because I told her yellow is too much of a cop magnet. But that's a badass car, bro. And honestly, I know you have this insane collection of stuff. I'd rather have my wife drive a Camaro than my wife drive a Lamborghini. I think it's safer that way for her. So, you know, that's my goal one of these days. You know, we'll see. It, you know, you work hard enough, it'll happen, right? What's the deal? The deal is I don't need a deal to white smoke these wheels. Got these rich right? boys slipping like DK with them bananas. I got 5308. I'm about to drop a lyric. Aaron, you can call me to <laughs> Tennessee. I don't live in Montana. Wait a minute. Right? He doesn't need a deal to be able to go out and get his car that he's burning rubber on. What's the deal? The deal is I don't need a deal to white smoke these wheels. Got these rich boys slipping like DK with them bananas. I got 5308. I'm about to drop a lyric. And you can call me Tony Tennis. I got 5308. I'm about to drop a lyric. I wish I knew what that meant right now. Uh, I'm sure you guys will tell me, and you'll probably tell me I'm too high to react right now, but that's okay. Um, I want to know what that means. I got 53, 5308s, 308 rounds. Okay, wait, I might not be too high. Hang on. I'm about to drop a lyric hammer, so he's loaded and ready. He's cocked and ready. Ooh. Tony Tennessee, he don't live in Montana. Who was Tony Montana? Scarface. The woods getting stoned until I panic. Country ass. If my career's a truck, there wouldn't be a parking space in the city. Big enough. Like he's overcompensating because he's got this big old dually with the Cummins, right? Y'all think he's overcompensating so you make making dick jokes about it. Stop chewing, dog. Sorry, guys. My dog's chewing himself up. Stop. <laughs> he has been around since Vine. Um, I, I, I was blessed to have uh, somebody come on my channel and, and tell me about his stuff on Vine. And I was able to go back and find some of it. I would love to find more of it. You guys just keep sending me it, all right? Yep. You can drive a six-speed half-lit with a blindfold. Probably could if I knew the road. Probably could. I ain't trying. Oh, sorry. You know what click red means, right? Hang up. All right? You see the record labels are coming after me? It just keeps hanging up on them. Right?
Bro, volunteer rapper? Hang on. That's not like it was a shot fire. Volunteer rappers slinging mud up in the hip hop. He's talking about these these fucking guys around him that are trying to run around and, 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 and act like rappers and shit. And bro, that was a dope wordplay right there. Hang on. That door's locked, bro. You ain't getting in. Yep. Bro, he's repping Tennessee, saying fuck all you wannabes. Yep. Hey, church, I gotta tell you, man. Uh, I'm just saying, if you ever watch this video, I'm just telling you right now, bro. I got more respect for you than you could ever imagine because I know the amount of work that you're putting in. I don't know the exact amount of work, but I know you're putting in more work than any signed artist I've ever seen. Um, I love his music. It's that simple. His lyrics are good. They tell stories. His remixes when he's border fire, bro. He's he's talking his shit here. He's telling the record label, "You can't get to me." Telling all those wannabes in Tennessee, stop acting like you from here. I mean, this is a message, folks. This is a message. Loud and clear for me. Man, I love this guy's music. It's crazy. I wish I, I, I wish I uh, had the skill that he has to be able to put words together the way he does, to be able to uh, uh, do what he does and have the energy that he does. You know, I'm older than him by a lot. Like, I'm old enough to kind of be his dad, really, if you think about it. But uh, this kid is a genius. Like, he really is. He he charts on different charts multiple times doing music without a record label or production company that's really going to go out and push his music and get him on radio and all this other shit like all the other artists do. And they do that and they get on the charts. But this motherfucker gets on the charts without any of that. Stop and think about that for a minute. You know, when you're looking at, at music, what is it about music that you like? Maybe you're just a beat writer. I don't know. You just like something with a great beat, and you can tap, and you can do things, and you can dance, and all this. And it doesn't have to have a message. You know, I like guys that have messages. You know, you see me react to Tom McDonald. You see me react to a lot of different rappers, okay, with, with different messages. Church, to me, has the most relatable message to me because it's so freaking down to earth. Um, I really dug this, guys. Like, I really, really dug this. I know this is a ridiculously long reaction, but I really, really dug this. Um, I hope you did, too. Uh, I, I just am so excited that he actually dropped something right now. Like, like my heart feels like it's pumping because he dropped music. Uh, I always get that excited about it. All right, guys. I'll see you real soon. As always, be healthy, be happy, be good to each other, and stay blessed. Right? Peace.